Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Nail Hoot Pink Guitar as well as Mo You London's Asia Collection 09 and I'll also be using Bases Loaded Lacquer on the black. And here is Nail Hoot Pink Guitar. So cute. And I do have on Nail Teaks Formula 2 on my nails already. And here we go with our first coat of Nail Hoots Pink Guitar. Beautiful creamy light pink polish with black glitters in it. They're matte. They're not shiny. But this is a really unusual polish for me. I don't have anything like this in my collection. So I'm pretty happy to be playing with it today. So here we go with our second coat. Now you can see it dries down and those glitters do kind of pop up a little bit off the nail. They're not curling or anything, but they're they're kind of chunky. So I'm going to top it with the American Classics Jealous because this looks like a thirsty polish to me. So I am going to go ahead and do a coat of that, capping that free edge. And got to get Woody out here. Hi, Woody. How you doing? <laughs> I am going to also top it with the INMs out the door. This is my fast dry top coat. Uh, Jealous does not dry fast. So um, with that on there, I definitely wanted to get this to dry down. Because you guys know, you don't want to be stamping on wet nails. So there we go. Here's my swatch photo of Pink Guitar. Isn't that pretty? Asia Collection 09, and this is a MoU London plate. It's got so many cool images on it. Just so many. I love it. I'm going to be playing with it. I'll be stamping with this on the black by Basis Loaded Lacquer. I've got out my Fabio Nails stamper and my H. La Corsa Dora scraper. Got to get that blue film off and give it a wipe down with some acetone real quick. Get it turned around for the image I'm going for. And I'm going to use this image on my thumb and my ring fingernail. And I'll be using another image on the other nails. There we go. Nice pickup. And ta-da! Beautiful! I'm going to clean my stamper off on a lint roller. And... Clean that plate off with some pure acetone. We're going to go ahead and take care of that ring fingernail. That way I don't mess up and, you know, uh, <laughs> just um, stamp the wrong nails or the wrong image. I'm just going to go ahead and take care of these real quick. All right. So I'm going to use the image right beside the first one I used. And this kind of looked a little bit like music notes to me. Not 100%, but close enough that I thought they would be cute. Haha, <laughs> on the other nails. And I probably could have looked through my stamping plate and found some music notes, but I was cool with this. That, and I had never used this image, so I wanted to use it. There we go. So nice, so nice, so pretty. And one more for that pinky nail. Can't leave that pinky nail out. Can't do it, won't do it. Here we go. Awesome. I'm gonna clean the plate up with pure acetone. Flip that cotton ball over. Get some more juice on it, acetone. And clean the plate off some more. And I've got a lint-free wipe I'm wiping it over with. Okay, gonna go around the plate and my scraper card, and on my little mat, I got all that cleaned up. Now I'm going to hop in for cleanup on my skin and use a piece of tape to get some of this up off of my skin here. I just use a little piece of tape and go around all of the spots where I can obviously see, you know, stuff sticking out. Like that, and that, and that. <laughs> just a little bit more. Alrighty. Now I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and my acetone. Do a little bit of cleaning up. Just not, it's not much to clean up. Just a little bit. 
There we go. Looking good, looking good. I am going to top these with the smudge free top coat from Maniology. That way I don't smear my design. And now that that's dry, I'll be using Posh Top Coat to finish this manicure off. Nice, glossy, quick drying top coat. Makes it all shiny. I love it. I had to reload my brush. There we go. So happy. So much love this one. Mm -mm -mm. Here comes my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.